everyone, it's Sylvia Wakana and welcome back to my channel. And the next dish in my Studio Ghibli recipe series is the herring and pumpkin pie from Kiki's Delivery Service. Majo no Takyu Bean, or Kiki's Delivery Service, was one of my favorite Ghibli films growing up. It was so magical, but mostly I loved it because there's cats. And I love cats. We actually named one of our cats Kiki after Kiki from the movie. Kiki, where'd you go? This is Kiki, say hi Kiki. No, no. So she's usually good about being on camera. And yes, I know, the black cat in the film is named Gigi, but with her personality, Kiki matched better. Anyway, on to the food. One of the most classic dishes from the film is the herring and pumpkin pot pie. The pumpkin I used in this is kabocha, which is Japanese pumpkin, or also known as a type of winter squash. As far as herring, which is a type of fish, it's not super popular in Japan, but the town that Kiki takes place in is supposed to be in Sweden, and Sweden is known for their herring. They have pickled herring and canned herring, and they're known for having some of the strongest smelling canned herring. So just be aware of that. I've seen some people use fresh fish for this dish, which sounds delicious, but I went with a canned herring since looking at the time period and the location, it's most likely that canned herring was used and I wanted to keep it as close to possible as a film. This is a little bit more labor intensive and time consuming than the other Ghibli recipes I've posted, but it's really fun, unique, and it comes out so cute. So let's get cooking. Take half a kabocha and scoop out the insides. Then cut it into smaller pieces. Steam the kabocha for about 15 minutes or until soft. Finely chop half an onion. Put olive oil in a hot pan and fry the onion until translucent. Cut off the kabocha skin and put the kabocha pieces in a medium bowl. Put the onions in the bowl and mix making sure to break up the pieces of kabocha. Now it's time to make the bechamel or a white sauce. Put two tablespoons of butter into a hot saucepan. Whisk in two tablespoons of flour and stir in one and a quarter cups of hot milk. Add salt and pepper to taste. Pour the bechamel sauce into the kabocha mixture and mix well. Transfer it into a casserole dish. Open up the canned herring. Hopefully you have an easier time than me. Place the herring pieces on top of the kabocha mixture. Grate some white cheese over the top. Thin out some puff pastry dough. You can make it from scratch or buy a pre-made. Put a thin sheet of dough over to cover the casserole. Decorate the top with a fish design also using the puff pastry. And then put egg wash onto the dough. Lastly, put cut olives around the edges. And then bake in a 375 degree preheated oven for 25 to 30 minutes. And it's done. You have Kiki's herring and pumpkin pot pie. Itadakimasu. And that is it. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and like this video if you're into Studio Ghibli food. And let me know in the comments if there's other Studio Ghibli or anime food you want to learn how to make. If you want to see other simple Japanese recipes, check out my website. It's going to be linked below in the description. And I actually post shorter versions of these cooking videos on TikTok, so make sure to follow me on there too. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Patane!